Hi, everybody. Last week, uh, I spoke to you by way of video in the same way that I am today, and uh, we had good response to that. People seem to, to like that as a way to get information. We're looking for every possible way to get information out to people. Uh, paper letter. Last week, we mailed out 500 letters, paper letters, by way of the Postal Service. And uh, also, we emailed that same letter out and uh, had a lose news as well as uh, this uh, video. So we're trying to find all the different ways that we can to communicate, get information out to you, uh, keep in touch with you, and encourage you to keep in touch with me and, uh, and with us. Uh, we only have necessary staff in the building, according to the governor's order, according to the law. Uh, as we understand it, that has to do with uh, communication and uh, cleaning and finance. And then myself, in terms of uh, the governor's order said somebody who has to make sure that uh, all of this is being communicated correctly and uh, and supervised. So those are the only people that uh, that are in the building, and uh, and so we do have people here. So if you want to call in, generally we're answering the phone, but if you uh, call in and you do not uh, uh, get a human being answering, if you get the recording. Just wait for the prompts, and uh, and then you can go to the uh, extension of the person that you would like to speak with and uh, leave a message. So we'd love to hear from you. And we as a staff, uh, we met yesterday. Again, the only ones in the building were those that uh, were permitted to be here, according to the governor's uh, uh, order. Uh, but we met by way of Zoom. That is, uh, we, uh, we had uh, computer uh, screens and and the TV screen, and we were all in the TV screen and the computer screen and talking to each other. Some, some were uh, in their homes or in different places where they could, uh, they could talk by way of, of the computer. But, but when we met, uh, most of our time was spent raising the question, how can we really care about our congregation? Uh, are there people who need rides, uh, need to have something picked up? Uh, and of course, we want to stay within the law uh, maybe something delivered, maybe uh, advice, um, maybe uh, some spiritual counsel over the phone, uh, perhaps somebody who needs food, or maybe you know somebody who needs food. We have food. Uh, we have people that have volunteered to, uh, uh, to help uh, care, uh, maybe to pick something up from the grocery store and bring it to you or whatever. Uh, but uh, we spend a lot of time on that. We're uh, encouraging our staff people to make phone calls to different individuals. I know I've called people that I know uh, have been ill. Uh, uh, this morning I've been on the phone with Ruth Barr. Uh, Jay Barr had emergency uh, surgery this morning. Uh, there was a, a blockage in the bowel and he had to have uh, most of his colon removed, but he's okay, he's okay. And there's other people that I've been on the phone with who have different needs, questions, uh, as well as email. Uh, a lot of email back and forth. In fact, uh, some of it is people asking theological questions like, uh, is this somehow tied in with the end of the world or uh, the book of Revelation and that kind of thing? Uh, so if you have uh, a thought, a question, a need, we want to be here. We want to care. And that's true of all of the staff. Uh, and again, the only ones here are those that uh, are permitted by law uh, as we interpret it. Uh, the others are at, at, uh, at home. You remember last week, I sent out that uh, envelope, 500 of them, and uh, inside I put that uh, smaller envelope uh, for people to send in their offering, and we just have had a great response, a great response. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to be sending out another paper letter today, but not 500. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the people that don't use email, or at least we think don't use email, and we're going to mail a, a paper letter to you just to uh, acquaint you with things, pretty much what I'm saying today. But again, we want to make sure that we stay uh, in touch with everybody. Uh, we're not going to put in a small envelope again. Uh, a lot of people returned. Again, we have about 50 of them, uh, people that have returned the small envelope. And a lot of it was people sending in their monthly uh, offering, their monthly tithe. And so I don't want to be, uh, you know, pushy and say, well, here's another envelope. How about another check? Um, at the same time, if you 
did not send your small envelope in, you've got an offering or, or you do a weekly offering and you'd like to mail something in, that would be fine. Just uh, send it to the church and uh, that would be wonderful. And by the way, we have had just a great response from people, not only, like I said, in terms of phone calls and emails and that kind of thing, but, but the giving. The giving has just been outstanding. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, um, and we got to continue it. You know, the bills keep coming in and the staff needs to get paid. And, uh, and there are benevolence things at this time uh, where we need to help people. And so the giving is very important, but the giving just has been absolutely great. So thank you very much. So I'm going to mail out about 50 of those paper uh, letters today. And then the, uh, the same letter will go out by way of email this Sunday. We're going to do worship again uh, uh, online. Uh, same time frame, 9.15, traditional, music and so forth. Pastor Kirsch is going to do a children's message during that time period. <clears throat> and then the message at 9.45, and then the contemporary music uh, at, uh, at at about 10.15, 10.20, right in there. And then again, Pastor Kirsch will do a children's message during that contemporary uh, time period as well. Now, we know last week there were glitches, there were pauses, um, uh, some people just kind of chuckled about it. Others got irritated, but whatever, but, but we know it was an annoyance, but it was something we couldn't help. It was an electronic thing. Apparently Facebook got overloaded, but we bought a new license this week and that will permit us to, um, uh, to stream in, in different ways. And I don't know exactly how to put it. Mark Brackla does. He's sitting uh, here with me in the office, so uh, looking at me. Uh, probably smiling, wishing I had all the right words, but uh, but anyway, we're gonna we're, we're gonna uh, get that to you this week without the glitches. Now, what he's gonna do is at the end of the paper letter that we're sending out today, as well as the email letter, he's gonna have instructions on on how to access this coming Sunday and watch. And we hope it's just gonna be you know perfect streaming. By the way. I really felt bad that a lot of people did not see and hear last week's message on faith. It was tied in with Lent. Again, we're bystanders standing by the cross. But I, I really felt disappointed. Uh, I was feeling so up on Sunday. Boy, we had great worship by way of the, uh, uh, streaming. And then I heard about all these glitches. And it, and it just was so frustrating because it was a message that I, that I believed was important. And I still believe is important in this time that we're looking at uh, the virus and so on and so on about faith and, and, and our relationship to the Lord. So you can still watch that. And again, Mark Brackle will have instruction on how to access last week's sermon as well as this week's uh, worship service. So, so and, and you probably have time. You know, we're all kind of stuck in our houses. So uh, please do that. Um, but again, we're here. We have cleaning staff. We've sanitized the church and shut down um, pretty much all of the building except for the, um, the main offices. Communication people are here. Uh, CR people are here to the extent that they are, are reaching out, as, as I said in the governor's order, to those who are uh, lower income, disadvantaged, uh, in special need, needing food. They're taking care of those things. Uh, uh, Colette is here taking care of the finances that was included in uh, the governor's order. Uh, and, um, and, 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 and so um, if you've thought of stopping in or coming in, probably not a good idea. Um, we don't have the door locked or anything like that, but, but we'd really prefer to have you be in touch with us, but do so by way of email and Facebook and, and, uh, and the telephone, that kind of thing. Um, again, want to emphasize that we're trying to find ways to care. Uh, we're coming up with some uh, some good things, some good ideas. Our staff is very creative, and they're very caring. Community recovery, of course, they're not having their their mass meetings here in the building uh, on Monday and and Friday nights, but they are um, streaming just the way that we are doing on um, on Sundays. They are are streaming out the, the CR message uh, to, their, um, to their clients, to their people, to their congregation. So uh, recovery continues to move on. 
uh, bulletin this week will be online and it will include uh, various prayer needs. I mentioned Jay Barr. There's some other things that we need to be concerned about and Beth will be putting that together this week and uh, we'll, be putting that, uh, we'll be putting that online. So that's the message. Love to hear from you. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for your support. I just have to tell you, um, Colette, uh, who was our finance person, um, and I, we, we've been opening the mail and, um, and, and we've been taking a look at what comes through by way of, of uh, email. And um, there have been times we've gotten choked up. I mean, this is the time that we thought, hey, are we as a church going to be in real trouble? And um, once again, you as a congregation, you just are great people. Um, so even this morning, I, I opened up some some of these envelopes uh, that came in the mail today. And uh, I'll tell you, folks, uh, it was a little hard to keep the tears back because uh, the support is there. So thank you. God bless. We pray for peace. Lord be with you. Let me know if you have a thought, a question, or a need. Take care. Thank you very much. Lord be with you. See you Sunday, streaming.